Hi, my name is Pete. I'm here with All Spoked Up. Uh, I'm down here at our new Aurora location. The warm weather is finally here, which means the riding season's here as well. There's definitely a few things you want to take, take a look at on your bike to make sure that it's all set to go. The first thing that we'll want to take a look at is the tires on the bike. Obviously, if they're flat, we're going to want to change the tubes. If they're flat, squeeze them and you'll be able to see cracks on the tires. If you see that, you want to get those tires changed. That's dry rot. And when those tires are inflated, it's much easier for there to be a blowout or for the rocks or thorns or glass to get in there and cause a flat. The next thing you want to take a look at are the brake pads. Uh, similar to the tires, if the tires are dry rotted, generally the, the brake pads are as well. You want to take a look for cracks on those as well or if they're, if they're past their, uh, their worn line on there. Chain you want to take a look at. If while you're riding, if you remember from last season at the end, uh, you're starting to get some skipping as you're pedaling, really cranking down on it from a stop or going up a hill and it starts to skip forward on you. And we'll put a tool on there to measure it, but we'll check to see if the chain is stretched. Uh, where you might need a new chain. At the same time with that, the cassette will wear as well or, or the freewheel, uh, so that may have to be changed as well on that. The thing we'll want to check is the cables. A lot of times bad shifting is because of the uh, rusting or corrosion on the cables. We'll check to see if the housing itself is cracked. If that is, uh, we change that up and make the shifting and the braking much better. Along with that, the hanger on the back, a lot of times the bikes will come in and we'll notice that there's some marks down here on the bottom where everything is falling or where the bike has fallen down. What we'd want to do is check to make sure that this hanger is not bent and that it's aligned with the, with the frame. If it's bent in, which is the way it usually goes, and you go to the low gears, sometimes this cage gets hooked up in the spokes and starts ripping those out, and now it's a very expensive repair. We also want to check for trueness of the wheels. A lot of times that wheel's going to start bouncing back and forth. There's a couple things that'll do that. Sometimes you have a broken spoke. A lot of times they just need to be, the spokes themselves just need to be adjusted. Uh, along with that though, sometimes the, the bearings in the hubs get loose. And so we need to tighten those if we want to make sure that the, to get the wheel properly true. But we'll also want to check the bearings in the, in the bottom bracket here to see if those are loose. Get that tightened up. That can lead to bad shifting problems. We'll check the headset on there, which can make the bike track a little strange. When you bring your bike in for service, give yourself about five or 10 minutes and we'll put the bike in the repair stand in the back. You come there back there with us, we'll do a free estimate for you and we'll discuss the different packages that we have to offer to find out what meets, meets your needs the best. Uh, feel free to stop into our Batavia location at 3 Webster Street or here in downtown Aurora at 14 West Downer Place. We hope to see you soon. Thanks very much.